Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints and to the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This is video 7 in a series of videos about how I set up my Wacom Cintiq for uh, Painter 2015. <coughs> Excuse me. In the last video we were looking at functions and we were looking specifically at the touch ring. And we came over here to record stroke, one of the uh, functions that I was putting in uh, for the touch ring. But when we looked at keystroke, we saw that we were using Shift A, and I wondered where that came from. So I went up to brushes, and I looked at a record stroke, and I see that in fact it does have Shift A as a shortcut key. But the truth is, I've added that shortcut key. And so let's talk about how I added that shortcut key and how you need to add shortcut keys uh, to uh, Painter 2015 so that you can bring in commands to your Wacom uh, tablet that would not normally be uh, programmable to the Wacom tablet. You have to have shortcuts in order to program uh, the tablet. So if you're in a Mac, you would go up to Corel Painter 2015. I'm in a PC, so I'm not seeing it here, but it'll be up in this corner. And you click on Corel Painter 2015, and then you go to Preferences, and then you go to Customize Keys. In the case of a PC, you click on Edit, Preferences, and Customize Keys down here. Now that brings up this uh, Customize Keys window. The first thing you see is the key set that is being currently used. And this is Skip's key set that was done on 925 uh, for 2015. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that back to the default. Okay. And I'm going to say, okay. And then I'm going to close Painter because when you change the key set, you've got to close Painter and reopen it for it to become active. So I'm closing Painter, and now I'm going to reopen Painter. And that will take a second or two. Okay, and I'm just going to put in the same old new image that I've had before. And we'll go up to Edit, Preferences, Customize Keys. And now we look at uh, the fact that we're at default. If I go up to brushes, look, record stroke and playback stroke are not there. Neither is uh, save variant, which is another one that I have. Let's take a look at layers. Look at uh, layers and there's all of these different commands that we had set up or I had set up in my particular painter. So. To set up a command here, uh, well, let's see, before we set up command, let's look at this. Your first icon here is, uh, if you click on that, that's going to uh, save a new key set name. In other words, whatever key set you currently have in the default, you can save it as a new name. Or if you were using one of these other key sets, you could save that with a different name. This uh, item here is open a key set. So I could go to wherever I have a key set saved and I could open it. But I can also keep multiple key sets available and I can open a key set directly from here. This is save a key set. And it seems like this might be the same as the first one, but it's a little different. This one saves the key set as its current name. And then here we have um, save the HTML document. Now what that is, is that you can actually print out all of these different commands that are currently being used as an HTML document. And once I post all of this um, to my blog, then I will post a copy of my HTML document for all of you to download and look at. You can review how I have set up my uh, uh, customized keys. And then you can delete uh, a particular 
uh, setting. Now, down here in shortcuts, you have shortcuts for the application menus that, you know, file, edit, canvas layers. That's the menus that go across the top up here. You also have palette menus. So if I were to look at um, the layers palette, let's say, then all of these things are available to me on the layers palette. And some of them have uh, shortcut keys already, but many do not. And let me just open up the layers palette real quick. I'm going to have to cancel this and we'll open the layers palette. And when you click on the option button, this is what I was talking about uh, for the layers palette. All of these you can add shortcut keys for. Okay, we're going to go back and open up the preferences, customize keys. And um, we not only have palette menus, but we have tools. These are the toolbox menus and the shortcut keys for all the toolbox menus. And that's pretty important because uh, I don't have, the, I'm not utilizing the big toolbox with the short one. So if I have a shortcut key for other items that are on the big uh, toolbox, the standard toolbox, then I can uh, utilize the Wacom tablet to bring those up. And the last is other and others kind of cool there. There are a lot of uh, shortcut keys in uh, other, but a lot of them we don't use. For instance, set opacity between 10%, 20%, 30% and so forth. When you've selected a brush, if you just hit the number one, two, three, eight, you will set the opacity to whatever percentage that that's set up. And very few people use that. So if you, when we're making new shortcut keys, we might want to use some keys that have already been used that we would never use uh, on our own. Okay, so let's go back to application menus and we'll go to um, brushes and we'll come down to record stroke. So if I want to make a, control, uh, a shortcut for construct, <laughs> record stroke, I could hold down the shift key and the A key. And that you have to highlight the area first and then just hold down the key that you want to use. Now, if it's a key that's already been being used, for instance, if I typed one there, it would tell me down here, key combination one is already in use by set opacity to 10% command. That was the command I just so showed you. Accepting the change will remove the shortcut from set opacity to 10%. In other words, that shortcut would be removed from the other menu and placed on record stroke. Now, that's important because sometimes or, uh, you start running out of keystroke combinations. And so you may want to use some that you haven't used before. Now, undo sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, but if you click on undo, it should undo. Now, it did not work this time. Uh, let's try going to shift uh, A. Nope, see, it still didn't work. Um, so when it doesn't work like that, you don't want to hit reset because that resets everything up, you, uh, everything back to the default. What you want to do is just cancel, okay? Cancel and then come back to Preferences, Customize Keys, and you will see that um, the record stroke has not accepted uh, the uh, shortcut. If you want it to accept the shortcut of Shift-A, then what you want to do is click OK. And once you click OK, then it has accepted that as the shortcut key. And that's important because if, uh, like I was doing before, I might add four or five shortcut keys. And then after adding those shortcut keys, I might make a mistake, you know, before I've hit OK. And if I hit the undo, look, undo's working for me this time. No, it still didn't. If I hit the undo and it didn't work, then when I cancel, I'm canceling all of those uh, shortcuts that I made before I did an OK. So what I'm trying to say here in a long convoluted way 
is that make one uh, shortcut key and say OK, and then open your preferences uh, customize keys back up again. OK, now let's do this. Let's go over here and we're going to select Skip's key set 925 and we'll say OK. Now we're going to close Painter because remember you have to close Painter in order to get and then reopen in order to get the customized set to work for you. OK, so now that I've opened it back up and it'll take just a minute to get to where it wants to go and we'll create the new image, say OK, that which I didn't have to do all of that. But we come over to Brushes, and you say Shift-A, Shift-B. If I go to Layers, look at all these extra controls that were not there in the beginning. So I have programmed Painter for a lot more short shortcut keys. Now, these are keys that I use and I think are good. I will give you my list, and you can use the ones that you want and set up your welcome however. Now let's go back to here and talk about these last two strokes. Now for record stroke, I have keystroke and what I've done is I've put the same uh, shortcut in both sp spots and called it record stroke. Now the reason for that is because this is just a toggle switch. So let's say OK, and we'll minimize this. And if I click on the middle button, and that's Record Stroke, I need to move it one space or one time. And then, I mean, all I did was run my finger around it. And now, of course, I'm looking for my stylus. Here it is. And so I'll make a stroke. Now I'm going to uh, hit the next button down which is playback stroke. And I'm going to move that a little slightly, just using my thumb to go, I mean, my finger to go around the ring. And now every time, <laughs> well, I didn't quite get it. Let's try that again. Okay, let's see if it's, there we go. Now, every time I touch the canvas, it plays back that recorded stroke. Now, if I want to do, if I want to, get out of playback stroke, I just m click on it again and move that slightly. And that gets me out of playback stroke. If I want to go back to record stroke, I just need to move it again because um, it is not going to record a stroke. Okay, let's see if, it, if I've had it recorded. Um, Let's come down to playback stroke. Yep. So see, it got it. Now, if I go back to record stroke, which is where I was going before. First, let me get off playback. I've moved it. Nope. Move it again. There we go. Now, go back to record stroke, and I'm not going to touch anything. And it is a toggle. So that stroke was not recorded until I actually click on my button and move it. Now this stroke will be recorded. And if we come down to playback, move it slightly. See, that's the stroke that got recorded. Okay, so that's how that works. And this is a little bit different from uh, the way that you would or ordinarily think. This one uh, is using Shift A and Shift A again because it's just a basic toggle switch. And if you come to the one for playback stroke, I also created Shift B, Shift B for playback stroke. Now those are uh, shortcuts that I added to Painter 2015. Okay, so that's it for this video. Let's uh, leave and we'll come back and we'll talk about display toggle. And then uh, that'll be real quick. And then we'll look at radial menu, which may be a little bit more complex. Alrighty, bye bye.